Texas has been rocked by yet another wildfire. About 3,000 acres have been consumed by a brush fire that broke out last night near Mason. Fire crews are still working to contain the spread. Ethan Purcell is live at the Texas Forestry Service building tonight with the latest. Good evening, Ethan. Evening, Bert. Uh, Fox West Texas spoke to the Texas A&M Forest Services and a resident of Mason County, and they provided us some details on the fire and what's to be expected in this heat. Firefighters are working to contain the North Arc Complex fire that broke out after lightning last night near Mason. One resident that Fox West Texas spoke with says she and her family aren't in immediate danger, but are worried about their neighbors. Right now we're feeling secure. Um, the fire that's threatening closest to our house is um, about 200 yards away and the wind, it's north of our house and the winds are blowing from the south. So um, we're just trusting the first responders and those fighting it. Just right now our hearts are mainly going out to the pastures, the livestock and any other structures that are um, in more imminent danger than we are currently. The North Arc Complex fire rages on and representatives from the Texas Forestry Service say another fire could start at any time. So sometimes lightning will strike an area um, and it will sit and burn in a tree and it may be 24 hours later before it actually comes up out of that tree and can start spreading further into like grass or other trees. So we may see additional starts from the lightning storm from last night. Turner also says that firefighters haven't stopped and won't stop, but are slowed down by the scorching temps and dry conditions, which makes another fire even more likely and the current fires stronger. And it will depend on how their efforts are hampered by potential weather, including extremely high temperatures today. It's going to be more fuel available for fire to burn. So these crews are not only going to be dealing with more active fire behavior, but it's just going to be hotter for them out there in the heat. Turner says this is no different than any other brush fire, but couldn't provide an update on how long it would take for the land to make a comeback. That depends on the fire's intensity, which can differ depending on the amount of fuel. So some, not everywhere inside that fire is going to burn with the same intensity. Um, areas that were more open and had more grass underneath it, that may be recovered in the next you know, two months. If we get a lot of rain and it's just grass that burned off, that grass will come back in a month or two. Forestry Service also says in the meantime, all Texans should practice good fire safety in order to keep the number of wildfires down. Fox West Texas will continue to keep you updated on the containment of this fire in the coming days. At the Texas A&M Forestry Services office in San Angelo, Ethan Purcell, Fox West Texas. Bert, back to you in the studio. Turning to